All right, so the 2004 Chevy Impala. All right, we're gonna be doing a coolant flush. Uh, 2004 Chevy Impala. So, you wanna take this out, put all new coolant in. These are both tins. Take the top. in my pocket you want to clean this out as well So you're gonna have to remove the engine coolant tank. Take the clamp off. There you go. I'm just gonna drain, drain all of this. See, it's letting the reservoir drain all the coolant. So it is green. Yeah. Not a sludge in there. Next step, all right, so next you want to take off this coolant hose going from the water pump to the radiator. And then we're going to drain that as well. Here, you want to move this hose. And then, it's going to drain like this. I'm gonna leave this coolant hose on so I can at least try to control where the water goes. Uh, some of it did spill on the floor, but I'm trying to get as much as I can inside the bucket that's underneath the car. And you're gonna do the same thing to the upper radiator hose going to your thermostat. But I think it might be easier to actually start from here because if you don't, what's gonna happen is a lot of the coolant is gonna get on top of the exhaust and it's just gonna be smoking for at least probably like a, a, a day or so. So we're gonna do this one. You wanna put a clamp on here, well, or hose pliers, whatever you can use, vice grips, and then you want to take off this hose clamp. Okay. 
and remove this coolant hose. All right, after you do that. It's draining, if you can see the color. It's not clear yet, it's more so an orange color. Just let this drain and clean out. After you drain this from coolant, you want to take a hose and go on the top radiator hose right here and pour the water inside. And then what that would do is go to the lower radiator hose. And as you can tell, uh, the water is actually clear. So pretty much once all the water is clear, then you want to put the green coolant in. Or, well not the green coolant. You so pretty much when the water is clear, you want to put the uh, orange Dex cool or any coolant that's for your vehicle. Uh, next, we're going to clean the engine coolant reservoir. When cleaning the engine coolant reservoir, I fill the reservoir up with water, and then I pour all that slush into a drain. I pour all that slush into a drain. So pretty much when you're filling up the engine coolant reservoir with water, it'll clean all of that dump that's on the inside. Get all that out. Do it until it runs clear. Two more times, and that'll be the end of that. And I'll show you what's next. You are not replacing it for this job. So you want to make sure you see that hook there. You want that hook? Uh, it's actually missing, but it's supposed to be like a rubber grommet there. You push it in like this, and it seats onto that grommet so it doesn't get near the uh, drive belt. But he doesn't have one, so we just want to make sure we bolt it down. The two telling me the screws on. Or should I say bolt heads? that on and then next you want to put the radiator hoses back on fill that with coolant and I'll show you how to heat air off the system now what we're going to do is take the lower radiator hose and put this onto your water pump assembly and this also goes actually Let's do here. The line goes through here down to the radiator. Then you want to put your hose clamp back on. Make sure just to seat it all the way on. I'm going to put the hose clamp uh, back on. And after you do that, we're going to do the same thing over here. Take the upper radiator hose and connect it to the radiator. Connect this to your radiator. And I'll show you what's next. And next, you just want to pour your edge of coolant inside your expansion tank. And I'll show you how to beat the air off the system. Next, you want to start the car. Turn the heat on. Hi. 
with this or you know high Complete the outer system. Take a 10 millimeter. Pop this loose. And you wish the tool is to pour off. Pop this loose and make the tool to pour off. Alright, now it's bubbling because the air is going out the system. Uh, but you'll see what it looks like when uh, the heat system is wet. You want to frequently check your engine coolant temperature. Uh, make sure the car is not overheating. So go back and forth. Uh, from looking to see if that nozzle is being bled, cor being bled correctly, and also if your, uh, you know, if your cars are reading. So you gonna check this from here. Going back and forth. What you doing? Uh, let's see if you can see. You know when the air is completely out of your system when your heat is hot. That's how you go. You know the air is completely out of your system when your heat and it's hot. That's how you know when it's pretty much done. Also, when your gauge does not overheat, you also know. See that needle is kind of in the middle and the heat is hot, you're pretty much done. And you know me, I would most likely take it on a test drive. Put in um, pretty much just 50/50 uh, engine coolant, uh, no water, no concentrate. Um, you know, just 50/50 uh, pre-diluted engine coolant. Dex cool, orange coolant. He told me that uh, steam comes from the expansion tank. I told him what I honestly thought it could be, which was the head gaskets. He said a couple of people told him that, uh, but he said he wanted to go with the risk of just changing the engine coolant um, and see what happens. So far she seems fine. He may be right, who knows. Get that out of here. Back around the 
block. That's it. Hope I helped you out, guys. Have a good one.